Electric car manufacturer Magna have revealed their new e-motor. It is more power dense, it is more efficient. Its previous motor was 91% efficient. This is now 93% efficient. It produces 3.3 kilowatts, so around four and a half horsepower per kilogram. The old motor made only two kilowatts per kilogram. In other words, it's nearly twice as powerful per kilogram of motor weight. Part of that increase comes from the new motor spinning at 20,000 RPM rather than the old motor's 16,000 RPM limit. Peak power, 250 kilowatts, which is 335 horsepower in a very small size. Compared to a, an internal combustion engine vehicle, EVs are incredibly efficient. In fact, they're about three times more efficient than a gasoline or diesel vehicle. So a lot of people think, well, EVs are so efficient, they can't really get any better, but actually that's not true. There is a new electric motor that weighs only 75 kilograms or just over 150 pounds, but it boasts the best efficiency of any electric motor that has so far been seen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I love these kinds of big changes. Now, yes, it's actually not a huge change in terms of efficiency, but it shows you that actually electric cars, even though they're amazing today, are continually getting better. Almost every single year, well, actually not almost, but every single year, we are seeing efficiency improvements. And that's not just coming from things like new tires or better batteries. It's coming in ways like changing the way that the electric motor actually functions. A new electric motor has arrived on the market with incredible efficiency. The Magna 800 volt E-Drive, a lighter and more compact option, which has pretty staggering power. Magna unveiled its new generation 800 volt E-Drive motors at CES Las Vegas 2024, incorporating several advanced technologies that result in a significant reduction in weight and in size enhanced performance and increased autonomy and sustainability. It's greater flexibility due to its lightweight design represents a 20% reduction in size compared to Magna's previous generation E-Drive. Now what this means, you're gonna see electric car interiors continue to get bigger. The, the size of the outside of the car won't change. Basically you'll be looking at a, a BYD Dolphin or a Tesla Model 3, the outside will be the same but the interior space will continue to grow and expand. Battery packs get smaller, motors get smaller and provide the same power and more efficiency. This is a, a huge change, something that the internal combustion world, the motor world, just it doesn't really understand what, can, what, what is actually possible in an electric car. The Magna 800 E-Drive is a key technology and a pioneering advancement in the industry, say a number of experts. It allows for the e-drive to rotate 90 degrees around the transmission axis, enabling better integration of the system into both the front and rear of the vehicle. Now you're probably thinking, transmission, EVs, they don't have a transmission. Well, they kind of do. It's, um, if it's something we'll, I'll get into in a separate video. Another new technology is Magna's high voltage SIC power module, which comes with fewer parts and interfaces making it much more efficient and effective. Its efficiency is further enhanced by the new active fluid control AFC system, a reversible electric pump unit for 100% active fluid management. Magna's electric motor is combined with intelligent functional software called Magna Thermal Operation Strategy. This enables on-demand distribution of cooling lubricating oil to the mechanical and electrical components in the motor itself. This improves the motor's performance, especially in situations where it's hot outside or the, the motor is being accelerated over and over and over. This motor weighs only 75 kilograms and it has reduced its dimensions by 20%, which means that you can put them in smaller cars. Previously, some motors, some electric motors, it was sort of hard to package them. So you see an electric car and you think, why Why exactly is that electric car? Why does it have a long bonnet? It doesn't make sense, right? 
why why is the front of that car long it should be as it should be about be able to be a frunk in there there's no frunk it's filled up with stuff uh, some EVs you see that right you think hang on a minute I mean electric motors are relatively small aren't they but that's one of the reasons that this is an improvement it's smaller and allows therefore more space in terms of storage capacity or it or it allows to be installed in smaller cars it achieves an efficiency exceeding 93.5% in real world driving, including WLTC and highway. Internal combustion engine vehicles re basically reach a maximum efficiency of around 30%. So it's three times as efficient as petrol or you know, gasoline or diesel. And it also optimizes its efficient gearbox, significantly improving the car's speeds and versatility. It's a single speed gearbox, of course, like most EVs. Now to increase flexibility, ED coupling and parking lock can be incorporated, say Magna. Now Magna, of course, um, they are a contract manufacturer. Now, they've manufactured vehicles for all kinds of German brands. They, they contract manufacture for Fisker and for Jaguar and for BMW. And yeah, they're well known as being a car company that you don't buy from directly. They basically rebadge the car for you to whatever brand you want it to be. We remain committed to creating exceptional driving experiences with a supporting and sustainable future. They said our next generation eDrive is the embodiment of that commitment. Through the seamless integration of our systems, we have managed to reduce our dependence on aluminum and heavy rare earth materials, resulting in a significant reduction in CO2 during production by approximately 20% compared to the previous generation E-Drives. Magda's new generation E-Drive can be seen as a viable primary or complementary secondary propulsion option with an optional ED coupling unit for C, D and E segment cars. It provides a maximum power of 250 kilowatts. So it's pretty powerful. And it, that's probably around about 340 horsepower. Maximum torque, at the shaft is 5,000 newton meters. Of course, to the wheels, that will change. With maximum efficiency being more compact and it weighing only 25 kilograms, this electric motor is on another level and promises to significantly change the automotive landscape. So the biggest difference is here, the power to rate weight. The power to weight ratio for this e-motor has significantly improved over previous generations. In the future, what I think we are going to see is this. Very small electric motors, probably around about this big, which will provide enormous amounts of power. It won't be necessary to have two motors. I mean, now it is for a lot of applications, all wheel drive, etc. But there may be, you know, a choice. You go single motor and still have a lot of power, even in small cars. You don't have to use that power if you don't want to, but it does enable you to merge quite quickly into traffic if you need to. And the other option is very small dual electric motors, which will provide huge amounts of power. As each generation comes, as each new year comes, these electric motors will become more efficient and more powerful. The future, my friends, is truly staggering. I don't think anyone can really see where we're going to end up with this. But either way, yes, these electric motors will unquestionably uh, kill internal combustion, which just can't compete on efficiency. Thanks for watching.